dear students under the topic partial differential equation here we are going to learn the formation of partial differential equation by elimination of arbitrary function previously we have learned the formation of partial differential equation by eliminating the constants now here we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function so the first problem is eliminate the arbitrary function from the following and hence obtain the corresponding partial differential equation so a function is given for this we have to eliminate the arbitrary function so what is that arbitrary function given here f so first of all we have to check how many functions are given in the given problem so here if you see there is only one function f of x square plus y square now we have to eliminate this function and we have to find the corresponding partial differential equation so let us see that now as the first step we shall mark the given function as equation 1 first of all we have to differentiate this equation 1 partially with respect to x so let us differentiate this equation 1 partially with respect to x we know that z is a dependent variable so when we differentiate it with respect to x we will be getting do z by do x and that is equal to now we have to differentiate x y if you see we are differentiating partially with respect to x in that case y will be treated as constant and the differentiation of x is 1 so it will be 1 multiplied with y so it will be y plus now we have to differentiate the function f of x square plus y square so if you differentiate the function f with respect to x you will be getting f dash of x square plus y square and multiplied with whatever is inside we have to differentiate that because we will be using chain rule method and since we are differentiating partially with respect to x y squared will be treated as constant and therefore the differentiation of x square is 2x and we have already seen that do z by do x is equal to p which we have seen in our previous lecture where we we have been eliminating the arbitrary function so it is the same here so uh, do z by do x is represented as p and do z by do y is represented as q so we will be using these representations so therefore since do z by do x is equal to p we can equate y plus f dash of x square plus y square multiplied with 2x so multiplied with 2x is equal to p now let us take this y to the right so we will be having this 2x f dash of x square plus y square to be equal to p minus y and from this we obtain f dash of x square plus y square to be equal to p minus y divided by 2x let us mark this as equation 2 now in a similar way we have to differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to y and so what we will be getting is so when we differentiate z with respect to y so we will be getting do z by do y so because we are partially differentiating z with respect to y and here we have xy so when we partially differentiate this with respect to y x will be treated as constant and the differentiation of y is 1 so we will be getting x multiplied with 1 so which is x plus now the differentiation of f of x square plus y square will be f dash of x square plus y square multiplied with we have to use the chain rule here and since we are differentiating partially with respect to y x square will be treated as constant and so on differentiation this will become 0 and the differentiation of y square is 2y 
and we have already seen that this will be equal to q so we will be equating this to q so we will be having x plus 2y f dash of x squared plus y squared to be equal to q so from this we obtain 2y f dash of x squared plus y squared to be equal to q minus x so from this we obtain f dash of x square plus y square to be equal to q minus x divided by 2y and so let us mark this as equation 3 now when we compare this equation 2 and equation 3 we see that f dash of x square plus y squared is equal to p minus y by 2x and this can be equated to q minus x divided by 2y so let us do that now so equating equation 2 and 3 we get p minus y divided by 2x to be equal to q minus x divided by 2y so from this we obtain 2y we will cross multiply so 2y multiplied with p minus y to be equal to 2x multiplied with q minus x and on simplification we get let's multiply this within the bracket so 2y p minus 2y square will be equal to 2x q minus 2x square and throughout dividing by 2 so if we divide by 2 throughout we will be getting y p minus y square is equal to x q minus x square so bringing this x q to the left and y square to the right we will be having y p minus x q to be equal to y square minus x square so this is the required partial differential equation so hope you have understood this problem thank you